Do you often run into situations where you need to format Excel file? It could be something as simple as adding a filter or complicated like removing merge from cells, changing date formats, applying colors to rows where specific value matches. But with the help of ChatGPT, you can easily write code in Python Excel Wings library to perform these tasks. Right, with that said, let's get to our sample Excel file. The sample file we are working on is being generated by Python pandas and exported as pivot table. So I'm going to do imports for pandas, numpy, and import os. So I'm going to run this code which imports in an excel file and then exports it back as a pivot table. So pivot tables are not being covered in this tutorial. So I'm just going to click on run. This will open up our excel file. All right, so this is the file that is being generated by our pivot table. For our first step, we will apply auto width to all of our used columns. We can see that the column A here is cropped and this is not showing properly as well. So our first question to ChatGPT is using Excel wings, I need a code that can auto fit column width for a used range. So this is the code it gives me. Let's copy and paste it in our VS code. The first section is opening the Excel file and the second section auto fits the column. This is the first section and this is the second section. So import sections, we'll put this in our first section, which is load in the Excel file using Excel wing. Click on shift enter to run this. All right, so we need to change this path to our file, which is here temp underscore log run this again and this loads in our file we can check it by doing this and it will pull up the sheet name which if you verify from here this is sheet one this pulls up sheet one as well so the second part of our code is what fixes the width of columns so let's copy and paste this in its individual section okay let's run this and we can see that this works fine and it has changed the width of columns as per the text in it so next fix we need is to change date format of order date to short date format, which I normally prefer when working with Excel. So let's head back to ChatGPT. All right, so our next question is that we want to change column A to short date format. We get the answer. Keep a note that all answers have the loading of Excel file. So you can see here, these three rows are only lo loading in the Excel file, which we have already done. So we are going to skip this section for this code as well as the steps going forward. Our relevant line is where Jane is number underscore format to MMDDYY. Let's copy and paste this in our VS code. And you can see that the our relevant column is actually column C. So we'll modify column A and change it to column C. And let's run it. We see that column C has been fixed and our date format is correct. Right, so head over to ChatGPT. And my next question is, how do I unmerge rows and columns in Excel using Excel Wings library? So this is the code it gives me. So as before, we will ignore these two lines above. We will just copy and paste this in our code section and run it. Okay, so we see that this code raises an error and does not seem to be working. And another thing which I've noted here is that this is going to work on all of the cells of the whole worksheet, which is not a good idea. So let's ask it to unmerge a specific range only. So for my next question, how do I unmerge specific cells in my Excel file using an Excel Wings library? So this is the code I have. Uh, the only relevant section is this line here. Copy and paste this. And the problem is that this is only going to work on range A1 through B2. What we need is we need to modify and make this dynamic to trace last row and column. Which brings us to our next question. How to trace last used row and cell using Excel Wings. And if you're coming from VBA background, you would already be familiar to this technique where you use last row and last column to find out the used range. So this is the code it gives me. Let's copy and paste this and put it to test. Okay, so we see that this is returning us row number as 1048576 and column as 1684. This is incorrect and it's picking up the end of the sheet. As you can see here, this is row number 1048576 and this is column number 16384. This means that Excel Wings has not been able to find out the last used row. If we look at our Excel file and do control N, we can see that the last used row is row number 116 and the column number is column G, which is equivalent column number 7. So let's go back to chat GPT and tell it that below code is not giving correct last row. Instead, it gives 1048576, which are the total number of rows in Excel sheet. Right, so it acknowledges that there's an issue and gives us a corrected code. So let's test it again. And now we have last row used as 116 and the last column number is 7 which is correct because as you can see here, last row number is 116 and the column number G is equal to column number seven. So far so good. Now we need to convert this to Excel range type. So what we need is something like G116. So back to ChatGPT and we will ask it how do we convert this into an Excel range format. Okay, so this is the code I have 
And this is my question. How do you convert numeric column and row to Excel format with column name and row number like A5? So let's copy and paste this function and test it. All right, so it seems like it is converting row number five and one to cell number A5, which seems to be correct. Now what we will need to do is we will replace the five and one hardcoded values to our variable name where we saved the last row and last column. So I'm also going to rename this as last underscore cell. All right, so for five, that's the row number. I'm going to replace this with last row variable, and this will get replaced with last column. And let's print it again. Now you can see that we have the correct G116, which is what we need. Now let's get back to unmerging the cells. So let's copy and paste the code for unmerge, which ChatGPT gave us. So this is the code here. Keep in mind that we will need to modify this and make it dynamic. We can do that by using f-strings. F-strings will not be covered in this video, but I am just going to use them here. You can ask ChatGPT to do it for you. I skipped it as it seemed very simple. So what you do is you simply add an f before this double or single quote. And in place of b2, we need to make this dynamic. So I'm going to add curly braces here. And within this, I would put in the variable name. And if I just copy and paste this and run in a different cell, just to see what it's saving, this should give us result as a1 through g116. And as you can see here, this is correct. So let me remove this cell. And now you keep in mind that this uh, this whole thing is reflecting as a1 through g116, which is what our range is. Go back to top. Now let's run this and our unmerge should work. And these cells here, these should be unmerged by the time the code runs. All right. So far so good. You can see here. Now this is not merged anymore here as well. So the code works. All right. So I will wrap up this video here. In next part, we will fix accounting format of these columns here. We will also add a filter and freeze and we will also look at how we can add a red color to all of those rows where the status value is equal to either disputed or cancelled and to wrap up we will also add a column that will be a difference of min and max somewhere around here all right so that's it for this video if you like what you see consider subscribing to my channel and i will see you next time